Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how current limit works in DC motors. The current limit's main purpose is to reduce and limit motor current. This limits the motor's torque in direct ratio to the current used. This feature provides protection for the motor as well as for all of the mechanics attached to it. It also provides the means of adjusting the forces of the system to suit the application. The electrum and motor controlling units include two current limiting ways. The continuous current limit, the tripping current limit, and the combination of these two with trip delay adjustment. The current is limited so that it doesn't go above the limit set by the operator. This is the continuous current limit. If the situation remains unchanged for a certain period of time, the motor can also be shut down entirely. This is the tripping current limit. Often available with delay setting from going above the limit to the moment of shutting down. Here we have a motor that is connected to the EM241C motor controller unit, an oscilloscope and a power supply. Here is an example to demonstrate the current limit feature. As the motor's load is increased, the motor starts to take more current. When the motor reaches the current limit, the controller starts to limit power, ensuring that the motor current doesn't go above this limit. This reduces the motor's torque and starts to slow it down if the load is still increased. If the situation continues, the control unit shuts down the motor after its set delay time. The current limit setting can be done with a trimmer. In more modern electroman products, it can be set digitally as a parameter. In some electroman products, the current limit can also be adjusted continuously with an analog voltage signal. For example, by using a potentiometer. The signal allows the motor to be controlled with a so-called torque control mode. This means that the rotational speed can be set to maximum, but the torque provided by the motor is adjusted with an analogical control signal. The spring scale shows how the torque is adjusted by controlling how much current the motor receives. The same can be shown with an oscilloscope image. Like we see here, the current limit sets a limit for the current that is going through the motor. In larger controllers, it's often possible to also limit the braking current. This is done by setting the braking current limit parameter. The braking current is the current that the motor feeds back during braking.
Those were the basics of how the current limit feature is applied in the DC motor controllers. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.